Welcome to My Dream Home with Jody Hinkle. On My Dream Home, we'll help you find your dream home or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Brought to you in part by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. And Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Welcome to 1A030 South Culp Road, Saverita, Arizona, 85629. The best awaits you in this energy efficient 2x4 with slump block constructed home. The inviting open floor plan provides the ideal setting for entertaining or relaxing in front of the Kiva fireplace. This house has eye-catching altar cabinets and doors throughout. The master suite includes dual sink vanity, walk-in closet, spa shower, and jetted tub. Two guest bedrooms in addition to a spacious attached casita provides flexible living arrangements. The casita has a separate entrance, wheelchair adapted with a very large closet and storage space. There's also an additional building with 144 square feet of storage in 144 square feet of a workshop. Other features include vaulted ceilings, fans, and attic space. There's also state land across the road. A beautiful outdoor fire pit is surrounded by rock seating. Enjoy the amazing sunset, mountain views, and natural surroundings. This house is listed at $338,000. For more information, call Joette Shank at 520-260-9224 or go to her website at joetteshank.com. I'm excited to be out here on location at Arizona Grill and Hearth with the king of barbecues, Val Romero. Thank you again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, I always find out you know, new information and learn something new from you. You have the most experience in Tucson when it comes to grilling. So I want to talk to you today about something I love to do, and that's make pizza. All right. So tell me about this pizza oven. It's really interesting, and I know it does a great job. Yes. Actually, this is the newest pizza oven from uh, high-end uh, manufacturer Lynx Barbecue Grills. Nice thing about this uh, pizza oven, you actually have the blue LED lights, so if you don't want sexy, turn them off. If you want sexy, turn them on. Excellent. The whole, actually, the base of the grill does pull on out. So what's going to happen when you first get this thing started, you rotate it, turn it on, you've got infrared burners on the inside of this grill. So those infrared burners will get up to excess of uh, 800, 900 degrees and you have a ceramic dome on the top. So within usually about a half an hour, that ceramic dome, because the infrared heating is very, very hot. So when you put your food down, you also have the ceramic uh, plate here. Um, normally when I do it, I'll put the cornmeal down over here and you have you know, your peel and you can either have your pizza on here and put it on down that way or however you want to set it on in, inside of the oven itself. And within usually five minutes or so, you're pulling it out, putting on another pizza. And I think everybody loves pizza, right? And this is a great way to make it really an event in your home, right? So you get the kids involved, you take it in the backyard, and everybody makes their own pizza, uh -huh. and then you throw it in there and you have a pizza party, right? Basically, and everybody's trying pieces of, you know, what did you put on yours, what did you put on yours? And I know for me, when we did one with the, the, the sausage, we were grilling the sausage on one of the grills, chopped it up, and used that as our, as our condiment that way as well, too. Right now, it's football season. Yes. And the U of A is doing great, off to a great start. I know that for those U of A fans out there, or for any college team, you guys have a lot of grill covers and materials, and I think you have something there. Tell us about your college line of products. Yes, we actually, well, there's, of course, showing our uh, Arizona Wildcats. This is actually a grill mat. It would sit underneath your grill in case you're carrying your spatula away from your grill, something for it to drop on. Um, we do have grill covers as well, too. Um, it's not just the U of A. We support them, of course, most of all, being a hometown uh, right. uh, native here. But we do have other covers from different other colleges that might not be in the top 20 like us. Even Arizona <laughs> State? Even Arizona State. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Um, so, you know, you guys do a lot of things, and you guys are really active in the community. Tell me, you just mentioned it, but tell me about your barbecue parties you have. It's something that I've been wanting to attend for a while. Tell me more about it. All right, uh, what we do is once a month, we have a barbecue party. We send out invites for people that want to be on the list. We promote it on Facebook, different or network organizations that we're at. The premise is we want people to try a grill before they buy it, you know? So we give people the option to buy their own main course, whatever they want to choose. And we have all the different spices, sauces, seasonings, and rubs here, so they can prep it any way they want um, from the products we sell. They can choose any of the different grills that are out there and cook on it. Now, you don't have to be a consumer. I have landscapers, I've got uh, builders, I have friends and family, I have people that just bought a grill and love the party atmosphere so much that they keep coming on back. So 
it's not necessarily a selling thing as more of a coming together around grill fire features having great conversations networking and uh, and giving an opportunity to see what these grills can do so tell us about <laughs> your your products here all right well we just came out uh, the king of barbecue came with his own uh, private seasoning uh, this one is called rub me tender and then uh, just as a uh, uh, side note on it, it's, it's great on beef products, chicken, veggies, salmon. Uh, I have a lot of uh, my friends and people that have purchased it will call me, email me, tell me what they've cooked on it, and I've already given repeat orders, and we also sell this one online. Excellent. And we have our another one that just came out, this one, a little bit more on the spicy side, and this one is Uncle Burn and Rope. So uh, going along with the King's theme, we are now promoting different seasoning sauces and uh, rubs. We have a third one that's already been developed. The name's Hush Hush, but it'll be coming out soon. Well, awesome. I can't wait to taste Hush Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think that's fantastic. All right, the king. So let's tell the audience at home if they want to find out more about you guys and how they can take their grilling to the next level, what's the best way for them to contact you? The quickest, easiest way is to call us, 623-0924. We would love to have you as our guests in our store. Uh, the address for the store, again, is 1045 North Jerry Avenue, J-E-R-R-I-E. -E. Uh, Speedway Columbus is a major crossroads. The best landmark is the Big Dun Edwards store. We're right behind them on the south side of Speedway. You can go on our uh, website, uh, www.azgrillandhearth.com. Well, thanks for being on the show. Well, thank you again. Appreciate it, Jody. One of the best ways to bring design elements into your home and lower your electric bill is by installing window coverings. The great people at Arizona Window Covering Professionals have been servicing the Tucson area since 1979, and one of their new and exciting products is the PowerV Motorization from Hunter Douglas. Check out this new and exciting product. What if your window treatments could read your mind? Anticipating every moment of your day? and making it more beautiful. Meet PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas, a brilliant evolution in the art of window dressing. PowerView is a new wireless motorization system that lets you control all of your window treatments from your smartphone, tablet, or the Pebble controller. Program your perfect settings, then let PowerView do the rest. It can automatically move your shades throughout the day. It all starts with room scenes. Different combinations of each shade in the room adjusted to the exact position you want. Use the intuitive PowerView app to create distinct room scenes that meet your light and privacy needs morning, noon, and night. Just activate the scene with a touch and the shades move to their perfect preset positions. Even better, set your scenes to automatically follow your daily activities. The PowerView Scene Scheduling feature lets you program your shades to move on their own, with each scene activating at the specific time you choose. And it's not just individual rooms. With PowerView, you can combine and group multiple room scenes, allowing you to control and schedule all the shades in your home at the same time. You can even link your scenes to the exact sunrise, and sunset times calculated by PowerView based on its knowledge of your specific location. For additional convenience and home security, PowerView lets you adjust your shades when you're away via the Remote Connect feature on your mobile device. What's more, most PowerView motorized shades are battery powered, so they're easy to install and operate. And cordless operation creates a safer environment for children and pets. Combine the advanced technology of our new PowerView motorization with our incredible selection of sophisticated styles, fabrics, and colors, and the most beautiful window treatments become the most intelligent as well. And with the PowerView Pebble controller, our passion for innovation puts stunning design in the palm of your hand. Available in seven colors, the Pebble is easy to use and enhances the beauty of any decor. With PowerView Motorization from Hunter Douglas, your window treatments will become such an essential part of the way you live, you'll wonder how you ever lived without them. From every good morning to every good night, every perfect scene is yours to set. 
For more information on PowerView motorization from Hunter Douglas, call Arizona Window Covering Professionals at 520-884-7300 or visit the showroom at 145 South Park Avenue. I'm excited to welcome to the show Rob Siegler from Surf Pro. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Now, I have had personal experience with Surf Pro, but uh, for the folks out there that don't know quite what it is, can you explain it to them? Sure. Surf Pro is a uh, franchise system. We do water and fire restoration for insurance companies. If your house catches on fire, we handle the cleaning of the contents to the cleaning of the structure, as well as rebuilding the house uh, from the fire damage. As well as water damage, if you have a flood in your house, we're doing all the, the things that are necessary to prevent mold, mildew, as well as dry the structure out properly and make sure your contents are taken care of. And when I unfortunately had to use you guys, I had a, a pipe burst within the walls of my home and it had been sitting there for a while before we even knew about it. The, the carpet had soaked it up and we called you guys. You came out, ripped out the drywall, used your drying machines to dry out the wood and uh, treated the wood so that we wouldn't have mold. And then after that, um, we were able to re-drywall it and it was like your motto says, like it never even happened, right? Well, that's what we try to do. Right. Um, sometimes the jobs get a little bigger that involve other things that we have to go into, such as mold remediation or asbestos. A lot of the houses in Tucson are of the age where they have asbestos, so we have to do additional testing for asbestos to make sure that our workers are um, okay to go ahead and remove the products from the house. Um, right now we've had a ton of rain here in uh, Tucson area, and I know there's been a lot of roofs that have failed, you know, probably because of age and, and and things of that nature. Are you seeing a lot of problems with flooding and water issues from the, the monsoons that are going on? Oh, absolutely. This year has been a, a kind of a unique monsoon. We got a lot of rainfall, but we got it a lot at a time. The roofs in Tucson, uh, a lot of flat roofs, uh, they're leaking. Um, there's an old saying, a flat roof always leaks. Well, that's true, but there's some things that you could have been done to uh, prevent those leaks. And I think that was one of the things I wanted to bring up to your attention was that you need to go up there once a year and maintenance your roof. You need to take a good walk around your roof, make sure that all the vents and things of that nature are have mastic around them. There's no cracking. You have the right, um, you know, roof coating on there. There's no cracks in the roof coating. But one of the bigger problems that we're seeing is uh, scuppers. And what happens is that the scuppers get clogged with debris, whether it be from trees or just dirt in general. And the amount of rain that we got, even though that people might have, at the beginning of the season, unclogged their scuppers or cleaned their roof off, they've gotten clogged from additional storm damages from, the, from trees and, and, and other debris. And what happens is that the amount of rain can't, can't flush through those scuppers, which causes a backup. And then what happens ultimately is that the water finds a crack, it leaks through, typically around bunt pipes or other protrusions, uh, duct work that's coming out of the roof for the swamp coolers or for you know, the AC systems. Okay, for the folks at home that you know, say they're in the situation where they need to call you guys to come out and look at a, something that's going on in their home, what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Well, if it's an emergency, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and all you have to do is call our main number, which is 520-760-9352. Excellent, well, thanks a lot for being on the show. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you. My Dream Home is brought to you by Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Patio Pools and Spas has several ways to enhance your backyard experience. From building custom in-ground pools and spas, hot tubs, pool cleaning and service, a complete renovations department, and five area retail stores to serve you. Patio Pools carries only top quality products like the BioGuard line of chemicals, top name brand swimwear, patio furniture, therapeutic hot tubs, and all your pool equipment needs. Call 886-POOL or go to patiopoolsaz.com for a location near you. Nothing beats swimming in our patio pool. A BioGuard Platinum dealer. Hey Roy, how's it going? Pretty good, how you doing? Good to see you. Likewise. Well, with all this rain that we've been getting here in Tucson, my pool is starting to not look as good as it used to. So, I brought you some water to test. Great. And hopefully you can, you know, help me out to get it back, you know, looking beautiful. Definitely. Let's see what we got. So, as we, so right now what you're doing is, uh, you're about to test it, right? What kind of things does this machine look for? Uh, it will test for uh, chlorine levels, pH levels, total alkalinity levels, calcium, and copper. Yeah, after it gets its readings, it'll give the suggestions 
to correct whatever might be a little off. Okay. And also I'll put that it's a little green uh, right now and it'll give a suggestion for taking care of that green pool. And there's no charge for this, right? There's no charge at all for that. So now you've put the water in the disc, what do you do next? All I gotta do is put the water in the disc, put it in the machine here and tell it to test. And it's gonna test all those things I mentioned. <clears throat> and the only one manual test I gotta do is uh, total dissolve solid tests. This will kinda help tell me how old the water might be. As time goes by, your calcium levels get higher and higher and your dissolved solid levels will go higher with it. Readings are pretty good. Um, it's all in balance and chlorine levels are pretty decent. Uh, so, so if you're having a green problem right now and your levels are looking pretty good, then we just got to proceed to a algae treatment. Okay. Uh, we don't have to do any balancing or anything like that. And is that an easy thing to do? Is that something I can do with no problem? Is yes. Algae treatment? Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this out and it's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions of what to do. Okay. Uh, and I might make a few notes here and there as far as, or highlight uh, the wait times between each chemical. Uh, but it's very simple, very basic. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure you run your pump overnight whenever you do a treatment. All right. And brush those walls, anything that you see that's green, brush it off to get, make sure that algicide and everything we're going to add is going to affect it nicely. Perfect. And you can show me the right product to add to the pool? I can. Well, Roy, thanks for the printout. So what is it that I can use to, you know, help get my pool back to the way I like it? Well, your algicide that you should probably use is Banish. Banish, uh, okay. Banish uh, is copper-based algicide, but it will definitely help kill off any green or yellow that you have in your pool. Okay. You're going to want to shock it first uh, with some shock. All right. Uh, and in the instructions, it will tell you to do the two bags, wait one hour, and then do your Banish algicide. Okay. You should do it in the evening, run your pump overnight, anytime you have this kind of situation. So Roy, anybody out there can bring in their water to you, to any of your locations here in Tucson or Sierra Vista? That's right. Anyone can test it for you. All right. Excellent. Well, thanks for being on the show and thank you for helping me with my pool. Thank you. I'm out on location at the Sonoran Glass School with John Peter Wilhite. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're welcome, Jody. And you guys have a really exciting event coming up. Can you tell me about that? I can. It's called Barrio Vidrio. Um, and it's an event that we're doing with two other um, galleries that also do glass that because we're all in the same area down here by Five Points, uh, the Philobom Glass Gallery and Studio as well as Barrio Collection. And it is a fall festival. Um, it's really exciting because we're going to every have everything from people being able to make their own glass pieces to watching various artists making glass pieces. So lots of different ways that people can get involved and find out about glass art. And that's really exciting. You know, one of the cool things is we're now into autumn as far as, you know, the calendar goes. Right, I know it's still right. a little high here yep, in Tucson. Yep. But one of the things I read is you guys are going to be doing the glass pumpkins? We are. We are. So um, that's the big thing we always do the first Saturday of the month in October because people get really excited. In fact, we're already getting calls from people like, oh, are you guys still doing the pumpkins this year? So, yeah, and we've already changed our gallery over to include a number of the pumpkins as well as we're going to be making some more. But what, one of the cool things that we'll be doing here at the school is what we call the make your own glass experience where people will be able to come to create and make their own pumpkin that day. So John Peter, can you tell me more about the Snoring Glass School? Yeah, so Snoring Glass School was started about 15 years ago. Um, we're 15 years old now. And it was the idea of two individuals who thought, wouldn't it be cool, you know, because glass is starting to take off, people are starting their own studios. Why don't we start something like this in Tucson? So 15 years ago, um, the studio started, um, and it was really small. Obviously, it didn't start really big. Um, where today, 15 years later, we're a full-service glass art educational facility, um, which means we teach everything. We have a hot shop, a flame shop, a warm shop, and a cold shop. Um, and we do instruction in all four of those areas for people who are interested. So for the folks that want to find out more about the Snoring Glass School, what's the best way for them to do that? So they can do two things. They could go to our website, which is www.sonoranglass.org, or give us a call at 520-884-7814. Fantastic. Well, to find out more about the school and how you can get involved and come down and learn how to do some art with glass, check out the website, give them a call, but more importantly, come down and experience it for yourself. Thanks a lot for being on the show. You're welcome, Jody. Take care. You Thank too. you. We are out on location at a very cool place 
called The Barrio Collection with Katja Fritchie. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks so much. So this is a really cool place. Uh, the way that you guys have it decorated, um, the studio itself, you have some incredible pieces. Tell me about the place. Well, this was an old tile store in the old barrio, and um, it fit us perfectly because we get to do our art here, we live here, and we get to have a showroom. So it's a perfect combination. And we can be public yet private at the same time. So tell me about what's going on on October 3rd. October 3rd is um, a celebration of the glass, for people to really explore the different glass situations that we have here in the barrio. We have Sonoran glass, we have Philobone glass, and we also have here at the Barrio Collection glass. Each place is totally different work and different ways of using glass. And uh, we all support each other and we wanted people to really see what um, this location, all the locations have and how close we really are to each other. For the folks out there that want to come down and uh, experience your work or you know, check you out on the web, how would they do that? Yes, um, we're on barriocollection.com and people can come down here Wednesdays through Saturdays, noon through five, and we're also appointment. Excellent. If needed. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Great, thanks so much. I'm excited to be out in location at Philobom Glass Gallery and Studio. And uh, I'm here with Dabney Philobom. Thank you for being on the show. Oh, thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. You guys have some great pieces here. Ah, oh, thank you. And I have never been here before. And can you tell us more about Philobom? Well, uh, Philobom has been here as, a, as an artist for over 40 years. And we've had a gallery in Tucson for 33 years. And uh, that's one thing that I'm really amazed by is all the talent when it comes to, you know, uh, glass art here in Tucson. You know, you guys have, you, of course, Philibon. Right. And then you also have the school, which right. puts out, you know, some very talented work right. as well. And then now we have the uh, Barrio Collection, which right. is... Right. And you guys are all going to put on an event together. Can you tell us about that? Yes, we are so excited to do this. Uh, because we now have three glass studios in close proximity, we decided to give a send-off to the fall season okay. and the gallery season with a celebration of our three glass studios and we're calling it Barrio Vidrio. Vidrio of course is glass in Spanish and Barrio is a neighborhood or a, an area. So we have um, formed this designation and we're celebrating it with events at all three studios on Saturday, October 3rd. And that is fantastic and you guys are really a neighborhood. You know, we you are. guys are so close to each other, you're very supportive of each other, mm -hmm. and I'm glad that you guys are doing this event together. Thank you. So, um, October 3rd, people can come out, October and 3rd. Um, there's going to be different events going on throughout the day, right? Right. Um, at our location, we are we're going to be having glass blowing demonstrations in our studio okay. starting around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they will continue through the afternoon and into our opening reception that we have in the evening from 5 to 8. For the folks at home that want to find out more about you guys, mm -hmm. what is the best way for them to find out more? We have a fairly thorough website called philobombglass.com. Okay. Uh, there is, we not only keep uh, images of all of the work that we carry in the gallery that's for sale, and information about it and information about the artists. Uh, we also have um, a, a site, a part of the website that talks about Tom Philobom and his history with images of all of his series through his whole career and wow. a, a little blurb about it. Um, so we, have, we have an, a part that says the news of what's going on so you can see you could read about our event coming up October 3rd. Right. So things like that. That's interesting. And so you can really, since he has all of his work on there, you can really see the evolution of his artistry probably. Yes, you can, yes. And that's really fascinating. It is. Well, thank you for being on the show. Um, come out and check out the gallery. They have some beautiful items in here that would definitely beautify your home. And thank you very much. Thank you, with pleasure. My Dream Home is brought to you by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. 
At Nova Home Loans, we know your home is where some of the most important times of your life take place. Poolside contests become a thing of legend. A secret hiding spot brings to life hush whispers and quiet giggles. And a fairy tale is a magical ending to a perfect day. Nova Home Loans is more than a mortgage company. We're the official sponsor of Cannonballs, Hide and Seek, Bedtime Stories, and you. I'd like to welcome to the show Michael Baltazar, Senior Loan Officer at Nova Home Loans. Thank you for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Now, you have been in the industry for a long time and you've seen a lot of things. I think over 10 years, what, 12 years or so? Actually, believe it or not, all the way back to 1997. 1997, yes, wow. Sir. And, you know, we were just talking before this interview and you were telling me about this uh, phrase that you've coined and it's very interesting. Can you tell our audience about it? Absolutely. So I teach a lot of continuing ed classes to realtors okay. and a lot comes up in conversation and we talk about the soft spots in the market, the areas of opportunity. And one of the topics that come up quite a bit are those individuals who qualify for a loan but prefer to stay on the sidelines and not purchase. And those are the individuals that I call our chronic renters. And uh, what a chronic renter is, is not someone who has to uh, rent a home because sometimes that's their only means of housing right. is, is renting. They don't qualify to buy a home. And so it's not a term to knock on those individuals who are working their way towards qualification, but it's for those individuals who do qualify to purchase sure. a home. They have the income requirements met, the credit score requirements met, asset requirements met. They just prefer not to commit to buying a home. And why do you think that is? I think it's, it has a lot to do with just the fear of a big commitment. It, it's similar to marriage, which is kind sure. of funny, uh, where there's some individuals who meet the perfect person, the right opportunity, they just fear that commitment, so they never take that plunge. As far as you know, taking that plunge within the real estate market, sure. in this environment that we're in right now, it's, it's a good decision to buy a home because rates are low, home prices are low, and things are rebounding nicely. So it's always good to buy low, sell high, always. and that's the environment that we're in. So my job is to encourage our chronic renters mm -hmm. and to enlighten them as well. And do you think the biggest thing for them is that education? Does that help them take that next step? Absolutely, absolutely. And one of the challenging parts for me as a loan officer is to overcome all of the myths that people find on social media, mm -hmm. on the internet, and to educate them with real information that applies to them. For the chronic renters and the other folks out there that are looking to take that next step towards home ownership, you know, how can they get in touch with you? They can call me anytime. They can text me as well. And mm -hmm. that phone number is 520-490-9608 or feel free to message me. My website is www.mikeatnova.com. And as Mike was saying earlier, he teaches a lot of professionals within the industry. He knows his stuff and he can help you take that next step towards home ownership. Thanks a lot for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Jody. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show or you just want to watch it again, go to mydreamhometv.com. I'm Jody Hinkle and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday at 8 a.m. right here on ABC KGUN 9.